Our topic is electrical circuits. But before we do electrical circuits, we need to know what conductors and insulators are. An electrical conductor is a material that electricity can pass through. An electrical insulator is a material that electricity cannot pass through. Mains electricity is electricity that flows from power stations to our homes. A cell is a scientific name for a battery. Many cells put together give us a battery of cells. Conductors. Electricity can pass through some materials but not others. If an electric current can pass through a material, the material is an electrical conductor. Most metals are good electrical conductors. That is why parts of electrical objects that need to let electricity pass through are always made of metal. For example, we use copper wire in electrical circuits to conduct the electricity. Copper is a very good electrical conductor. Other metals such as iron, silver and gold are also good electrical conductors. Copper is the most common metal used in, as an electrical conductor. This is because it is much less expensive than gold or silver and is a better conductor than iron. If you look at the cord of an electrical appliance, you will notice that the wire is made of copper and the pins are made of metal. If you look at a light bulb, then the part that goes into the socket is made of metal and the filament is made of metal. Metal is used in plugs and electrical cords in devices such as radios and TVs. In a light bulb, the metal filament conducts electricity and causes the light bulb to light up. Insulators. Some materials do not allow electricity to pass through them. These materials are known as electrical insulators. Plastic, wood, glass and rubber are good electrical insulators. That is why they are used to cover materials that carry electricity. For example, the glass of a light bulb and the plastic around the metal pins of a plug are insulators. Look at some other examples of how we use insulators below. The plastic covering that surrounds wires in an electrical ins is an electrical insulator which stops you from getting an electrical shock. Electrical insulators are used wherever there is a danger of someone getting an electric shock from a conductor. Electricians who work with mains electricity wear rubber gloves to stop them from getting shocks if they touch electrical wires or plugs. Electrical pylons have ceramic or glass insulators to support the overhead power lines so that the electricity does not flow down the pylon itself. If electricity flowed down the pylon, it could electrocute people or animals that touch the pylon and can cause serious injury or even death. Materials that conduct electricity are called electrical conductors. Most metals conduct electricity. Copper is a good electrical conductor. The parts of an electrical object that need to let electricity pass through are always made of metal. Materials that do not conduct electricity are called electrical insulators. Most non-metals such as wood, plastic, rubber and glass do not conduct electricity. Insulators 
are used to stop people from getting electric shocks. For example, electricians who work with mains electricity wear rubber gloves. Let us answer these questions together. Use the list of words to complete the sentences. You will have to use some words more than once. The words copper, stop, glass, conductors, non-metals, metals, shocks, rubber, mains, insulators. Materials that electricity can move through easily are called conductors. Most metals such as iron, gold and silver are all good conductors but copper is the metal used most often. Materials that stop the flow of electricity are called insulators. These materials are usually non-metals. For example, glass and rubber. Insulators stop people from getting electrical electric shocks if they work with mains electricity. That is all for conductors and insulators.